Welcome, this is a short demonstrational video showing you how to access the note features within Firefly. You'll first want to open up Firefly and log in using your personal username and password. Once in Firefly, you want to make sure that you open up the document that you want to work in to add the notes. Once there, you'll be able to go to the toolbar and choose the note icon, and you'll see that there's lots of options available within this drop down menu. The first two options that we want to focus on is the sticky notes and the text notes. We can add those two types of notes very easily within the system. You're going to typically use sticky notes when you want a big visual note that kind of covers up the text that's hard to miss. And then you want a text note typically if you're using fill in the blanks or you're trying to write in the margins of a textbook. I'm going to start with a sticky note. If I want to add one, I simply click on the add sticky note button. And then I enter the document once again. The cursor now has a small yellow box in the bottom right corner showing that that is the sticky note feature. I go to anywhere in the text and click and it will immediately create a sticky note. Now I can simply type my information in. And if I would like to adjust it, I simply go to the bottom right corner, click and hold and drag to adjust the size of my sticky note. If I'd like to move my sticky note, I click on it and I can go to the top corner of it and pull and then I can adjust the location of the sticky note to any location I would want. Again, sticky notes are big and visual so they're hard to miss but if you put them over the text it will be difficult for an individual to read the text behind there. Now you notice that my cursor still shows this sticky note feature on there. So if I was to click anywhere else I would again create another sticky note. But if I did not want this sticky note I would want to go back to the note icon and then choose the delete option go back into my document and my cursor now has a little red X just below it and now if I just click on the one I don't want that simply deletes it and then if I want to go back in here I would go back and I can choose the cursor feature to get back to a standard cursor now if I'd like to add a text note I can go in here and click on the text note feature and I can go back into my document and once again I see a white box in the bottom right corner of my cursor and then I can go and put the cursor anywhere I want to and create a small white box. Now mine made a very big box so I'm going to adjust it immediately and make it smaller so that it kind of fits into the margin of the text. And then I'm going to type again and once again if I click on it I can actually go to the top of it and adjust the location so I can have it line up with my text but now this one actually shows up as a kind of note within a note essentially so that you can write within the margins of your book um, both notes are very nice but we can also adjust lots of the settings of the notes so if I go back to the note icon you'll see that I can make them bold italicize that works for both type of notes I can adjust the font sizes so if I want to make the font very big I can make it very big if I wanted to I can set the font style and I can even adjust the color of the font and with the sticky notes only I can actually adjust the colored background so you can do quite a bit to adjust these to make them any way you want to there's also a view function this allows us to hide the sticky notes and hide the text notes if we would like um, this is for if you're reviewing documents and the notes are covering up the text like I mentioned might happen with sticky notes um, you can want to use the notes later on but you can't see the text so this way you can hide them and view them later on so I've already shown you how to delete a note but what if I wanted to do something with the notes outside of this document well one of the nice things is we can actually print the notes directly to an external source so if I could print it to a standard printer and I could get just my notes printed out on a nice little paper document or one of the other options if you're familiar with extraction from the highlight utilities I can actually go into the tools options and go to extract and you'll see that if I read the note here it explains that it extracts notes and highlights to a separate document for study guide purposes but if I go into the advanced option it tells me that it allows me to extract bubble notes footnotes sticky notes and text notes now currently in Firefly we don't have bubble notes or footnotes but they will be coming shortly but if I choose to extract my sticky and text notes I can pull that into a separate document I also could turn it off so that I only got my text notes or I only got my sticky notes I have that flexibility but if I now was to press the OK button
I now would get a text-based document within Firefly that has the type of notes that I wrote and extracted into a word-based document. So now I can go in and I can modify this if I want to. Or I could save it as a document for later on. But now I have full flexibility to adjust my notes. So if you're doing notes as you're reading a document, it's really easy to use those notes for other purposes later on after you've done reviewing the materials. So that explains mostly how to use a note, how to delete a note, how to access a note. If you'd like to get back to your initial document, you can always go back up to the top left and hit the back button. It is going to give you a warning that you're leaving an unsaved document. So if I did want to save it, I'd have to save it before I left this page. I don't need to save mine right now, so I'll hit leave. And that will bring me back, and I will still see my two notes that I entered into the text. Again, if I'd like to delete them and go back up to notes, I can hit the delete option. I can click on each one of them, and it'll delete those notes. So hopefully this short video was helpful and explained some of the features related to how to do notes in Firefly. If you need additional help or support, please visit our website for additional videos. Thank you.